Supply chains, disruptions all over the world resulting in bare shelves. Shoppers panic buying and retail stores scrambling. Joining us now is business and markets analyst and Newsmax contributor Seth Denson. Seth, how you doing? Hey, good morning, Mercedes. Good to see you. All right, let's get right to this. The White House says they're engaging in this 90-day sprint to clear up the congestion at the ports. Do you think their plan is going to work? Well, I, I, no, I, I don't have confidence in the plan, no. I mean, here's the reality of the whole situation. We don't have a goods issue here. We have a labor issue, and this was caused in large part by many of these ports being government run and making bad deal with labor unions. And so the hours were so streamlined uh, or limited, I should say, that that really created a problem. But then that creates a secondary problem. And you've got the trucking community who has been, listen, we have as a nation potentially belittled this industry for a long time. We should be grateful for the trucking industry and what they do, but these combined issues don't lead me to be very uh, confident in what might happen going forward. Yeah, and it also seemed like uh, President Biden took a long time to address this issue, knowing that with the pandemic, uh, it could create this supply chain disruption. But let's go to Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. He was on CNN yesterday. He was discussing the supply issues and ships not getting into the ports. Take a listen. We are processing right now as a country record levels of containers and other goods coming into our ports already. The issue is that this, there's even more demand than uh, the supply chain can support. Remember, we are relying on supply chains that were built generations ago. So there seems to be more demand, but do you think his comments make any sense? And are they really thinking that with their approach they can fix these supply chain issues? Listen, I think maybe Secretary Pete should stick to trying to fix potholes, and once he can get that done, maybe start talking about supply chain management. And that, that's the real issue here, Mercedes, is you got a Biden administration uh, without business leaders. They, they've got bureaucrats, and they're trying to run business economics and supply chain management. Goodness, we had a blueprint for this under the Trump administration, Operation Warp Speed. I know we all talk about this being a vaccination rollout, but here's the reality of it. It wasn't just vaccination. It was getting the chemicals to get it produced, to get the vials and syringes. And the Trump administration went links to engage with the private sector to make sure that this thing got uh, out. And that's the reality of things when you have a business sector-minded approach to supply chain management versus a government bureaucratic right. one. I want to get this question is, we've, we've seen the Consumer Price Index released yesterday. It was showed a stunning 5.4% overall inflation pace, the fastest since 2008. Uh, this marks a fourth straight month above 5% inflation growth. How concerning is this? Well, I mean, obviously, it's it's concerning on the surface, but I, to me, what's more concerning is the people that are running our economy, the people that are running our monetary policy, didn't see it coming when many others did. They kept telling us this was transitory, whatever that means, but that it wouldn't last. And they were even early on saying we still should see a 2% overall inflation rate. We're not seeing that. That's concerning. I don't know that I can trust Jerome Powell, Janet Yellen, and what they're telling us going forward, because they were certainly wrong on this one. Yeah, on top of that reckless spending, Seth, I got to tell you, we're, we're going to go into a very tough time in this economy next year, it looks like. But thank you so much for your insight, Seth Denson. Thanks so much.